Greetings, friends. My name is John Gabriel, and this is the new Calculus channel. So, as you can all see, I'm still alive <laughs> and not feeling particularly bad today. And so, once again, I want to discuss the foundations of mathematics. And uh, yes, you all know where this is leading. Naturally, to Euclid's elements. So let's begin. Now, for those of you who can remember, uh, in, in some of my previous videos, I've stated that Euclid's elements is not about constructions, okay? It's not about straight edge and compass. That's all nonsense. That's the kind of drivel that you will find in uh, videos like this, which happen to be pretty popular. Uh, this one here is called an introduction and belongs to Sandy Boltena. But so she says, why study Euclid? Because it's fun. Actually, that's entirely nonsense. <laughs> it, it, Euclid's elements is fun when you understand it, but that's not the reason you study it. The reason you study it is that it is the foundation of all mathematics. Okay. And it doesn't teach you how to think logically. It presents concepts in a logical way. You have to learn how to think logically. Okay, that's not something that can be taught. And then, so she goes along and she says, uh, the goal is to, you know, from a simple set of five rules or postulates, which is entirely nonsense because there are no actions or postulates, um, a straight edge and a ruler derive all the facts of Euclidean geometry. Absolute rubbish, okay? Because a straight edge and a compass were only used to convey the deeper meanings of, of the uh, perfect concepts that Euclid was discussing. And I'll show you in a moment exactly what that means. So bear with me. Don't don't sign off. I'm going to reveal something in a way that you've never heard it before. Okay, so this isn't in my other videos. So really, you need to pay attention to what I'm about to say now. So let's just get rid of this because this is nonsense. So in another video by Mathematics Online, we see what the attempted description of Proposition 1 is. So uh, we hear that uh, an attempt is made using a compass and a straight edge to produce an equilateral triangle, okay? But what does that mean, okay? So let me rephrase Proposition 1, and perhaps some of you will get a clue. So Proposition 1 states that given any, any uh, particular shortest distance between two points let's call them a and b this here is not a straight line do you see this black line here it is not a straight line you cannot draw a straight line you cannot draw a point you cannot draw a circle do you get that you morons okay so what is a straight line a straight line is a method of communicate communicating the shortest distance between two points okay that's all that it is. And imagine if we didn't use constructs like this, we'd have to describe proposition one as follows. So let's see if I can state it without referring to compass and straight edge. So proposition one states that given any shortest distance between two points, it is possible to construct a geometric object that has three points, uh, the which the distance between any of those two points is the same as the distance between the original two points A and B that you see in this diagram. Do you understand that, you incorrigible morons? And I'm saying this to the mainstream academics, not to those who are my subscribers or those who know better. This isn't addressed at you. It's addressed at all the millions of idiots in mainstream academia who've never understood Euclid's elements, okay? 
So really, that is what Proposition 1 is, sta is stating. But isn't it easier to state it in the way that it's stated in this video? Of course, and that's why we use these constructions. But Euclid's elements has nothing to do with constructions. Do you understand that? Nothing. You can throw your compass and your straight edge away. It's got nothing to do with the perfect objects discussed in all the elements. Every single proposition can be stated without referring to any construction or diagram. Okay, in other words, strictly in terms of location and distance. But it would be pretty hard to do that, wouldn't it? Of course it would. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> so now... I hope I've given you a little more insight to what it means every time I tell you that this little black dot is not a point. This black line is not a line. These red and blue things called circles are not circles, you morons. Okay. <laughs> well, perhaps now you'll understand what I'm saying. And you'll begin to see all of Euclid's elements in a different light. Very well then. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick, but I'm trying. Well, this is the new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye friends.